What is up guys, it is the Gamers Revolution here, and yesterday was the official world reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now there was tons of information that went out, including a game trailer, which included clips from multiplayer campaign and zombies, which was really neat. But also, there were some interviews with David Vonderhaar and Mark Glamia, done by Hashtag The Race. And all of these other information about multiplayer and campaign have been coming out through the YouTubers that went and actually played the game. So, I'm going to be going through pretty much everything that has been released in the past like 24 hours about the game. So, first off, the theater mode that has been missing for the past couple years is returning in Black Ops 3. When asked about uh, theater mode, Mark Lamia said that you were in good hands with Treyarch, which obviously means that theater mode is coming back. A lot of people had been complaining about this because they really wanted theater mode to come back so they could edit their uh, sniper montages, I know that was a big thing, or see how they killed someone, or anything like that. It's just a great tool to be able to use to make all of these different things for social media and stuff like that. Another big thing is the new movement system. Now, Treyarch wanted to make it very clear that there are not going to be exosuits in this game at all. For me, that is a good thing. I personally did not like the exosuits in Advanced Warfare very much, but it does feature a little bit of a different movement system. From this, you can do wall running now, and now there's jetpacks instead of exosuits. So basically, wall running, it's like Titanfall, except you can't wall run forever as you could in Titanfall. Basically, you can just go up on a plane, and then you'll start losing momentum because the gravity will pull you down, and then you'll only be able to wall run for a short time. At least this is what I've heard. And then also, you will be able to do short exo boosts, they're not exo boosts, but they're jetpack boosts, but they don't like shoot you 0 to 100 real fast, but they just kind of slowly gain speed, and that is how that works. It's not anything fast paced like Advanced Warfare was, but I heard that if you do decide to use this exo jet, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be saying exo, it j if you just use this jetpack, it is not very advantageous when you're trying to do it gun to gun, ground to ground, gunfights are the best. Now, in the multiplayer, there are going to be characters called specialists. Now these specialists are kind of like how Destiny was, how you could choose a certain ability that your character would get to do once you reached and filled up your power meter. And from this, there are four different characters that we know of now. I believe there is nine that will be launched in the official title. But basically, you just get a power weapon or an ability that you get to choose. Power weapons, you get about every two minutes. And then for the ability, you get it about every four minutes. Or it might be the other way around. But basically, these abilities are specific to certain characters. So if you want to read more up about that, I will have links to... Uh, Charlie Intel where you can read up about that, but there are just so many things that it would take up this whole entire video I could do a whole video on the specialist, but let's move on to the next thing And that is that there is this awesome weapon customization feature within black ops 3 called the gunsmith and the paint shop So have you ever wanted to create your own camo? Well now you can in black ops 3 you'll be able to create camos for basically anything take the uh, emblem editor and then double that and then have it three times and that's your <laughs> camo editor. So you'll be able to edit the left side, top side, and right side of your gun in any way you like, which is absolutely awesome. People have been asking for these camo editors for a long time now. I know PC has been wanting to implement some of their own custom camos into the game, except it doesn't sound like you'll be able to upload actual files, but you'll have to create it like you would an emblem in the emblem ed uh, editor. But anyways, it is a really cool feature, and the gunsmith is where you can take a gun, and it's basically like creating a variant in Advanced Warfare, except you get to create the variant. But this is where you get to take, like, say you want, like, an AK-47. Not sure if that gun's going to be in the game, but I heard there's a variant or a weapon kind of like it in the game. And you wanted to add a silencer, extended mags, and a laser sight on it. And you wanted to call this the Beast AK or whatever you want to call it. You can save that as your own variant, and then you can use it 
uh, pick and choose between any of the classes you like and you can like choose between which variant that you created you want to use in the game which is very cool indeed and I will definitely be using this to same save time when creating classes. Now all this talk about multiplayer but when will you actually get to play it? That is why Treyarch is allowing people to play Black Ops 3 multiplayer at E3 2015. So in June 16th through 18th in Los Angeles, you will be able to play multiplayer live on the stage floor. Uh, and then after this, we got some information about Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So for the PS4, it is going to be running in 1080p at 60 frames per second. It's going to be running in 4K if your computer can handle it at 60 frames per second on PC. And then the uh, graphics have soon to be re uh, announced on the Xbox One. I assume that it's going to be some upscaled version of 1080p because it can't run native. And that is also going to be at 60 frames per second. Now from this, we also had the minimum PC specs revealed. This was a little bit different from all of the other previous Call of Duty years because the PC specs were actually released 24 hours after the reveal trailer instead of like 24 hours before the game actually launched. Now the specs for this are actually pretty easy. It doesn't seem too hard. Again, Charlie Intel will have the specifics on this because I don't want to read it out, but go check them out in the description if you want to go check what these minimum requirements are. They're actually very easy. And then some more PC settings is that Black Ops 3 for PC, they will have 100% dedicated servers for all ranked mass matches and they will also have a, an adjustable field of view slider which I know that people on the PC want a lot. And also, tons of stuff in this video, we have three multiplayer maps that we know the names of so far. This is Combine, Stronghold, and Hunted. That is not really a lot, we don't get too much information about it. But another place that you can also get to play beta is one to two months before launch. So around September time, the beta will be going live for Black Ops 3. You can get into this beta by pre-ordering the game for either PS4, Xbox One, or PC. Those are the only platforms that the beta will be available on. And this beta is expected to last one to two weeks. And from my understanding, it's only going to feature multiplayer. And also... Fine, no, not finally, but we got a deluxe, digital deluxe edition of Black Ops 3 revealed. This is just going to be a version of the game where you can get the season pass and the game for $9.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's definitely a good deal because you're going to be saving $10 if you buy that uh, package. And then we get into the pre-order bonuses. GameStop, they are going to be offering a poster with a little zombies teaser that we've seen on the front. And then if you turn it sideways and flip it over to the back, it is going to be just a Black Ops 3 logo with the uh, game release date of 11-6-15. And also, if you pre-order Black Ops 3, you can get... Uh, a new camo for Advanced Warfare, which actually does look pretty cool. And coming up to the last couple things that I have to talk about here, Supply Drops will not be returning in Black Ops 3. This kind of makes sense because it, with the Gunsmith and you making your own variants, and then getting Supply Drops with more variants, it just would be a lot to keep track of. But also, uh, I didn't really want the Supply Drops to return because I feel like if you got lucky, then you'd have a better advantage over others which I didn't really like so I'm kind of happy with this decision and finally last but not least <clears throat> last but not least a Dutch retail is listing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for Xbox 360 and PS3 which I was actually kind of surprised about I had initially heard that it was only going to be for current gen consoles meaning the PC the PS4 and the Xbox one but it looks like they might be sending this out to some other third-party company to develop such as uh, what Sledgehammer da Games did with Advanced Warfare, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's great for the people that do not have their uh, Xbox Ones or current-gen consoles right now. 
But that is it. That is everything, basically, that we have learned about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 over the past 24 hours, which is really insane because normally my videos are not over 10 minutes long, and this one is over 10 minutes long worth of information that I didn't go, even go into anything. But make sure you hit that subscribe button if you do want to stay up to date with everything that is going to be going up about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I will have it on my channel first. And yeah, just thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys at my next videos. Subscribe and join the revolution. Bye.